Thank you, Julie. And we are sure you've heard of First Fridays down in the Crossroad District. Well, one of the local artists is participating next month, and his name is Joe Domino. He uh, joins us now in studio. Thank you so much, and you've brought your artwork along. I have. I have. Tell us a little bit about the wide range that you do. You use photography and mm -hmm. oil painting. Describe how you incorporate both. I have been making artwork for about 13 years now and my niche which in the art world having a niche is very important I took a photograph and I've made a painting off of that and I've been pretty successful in the Kansas City area now my focus has been on window panes I take old window panes and I put uh, skyline scenes in those they are really really beautiful vibrant mm -hmm. colors and I do like this window pane what a great idea uh, where do you find these window panes anyway this particular set here was in the neighborhood. People throw away trash all the time. Bulky Trash Month is my time to get out and find window panes. You go dumpster diving. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's very important, and it's, you know, economical for a starving artist. Very good. And you have these, you know, an example of photography here on the table, mm -hmm. and then how you incorporate it into your oil painting next to it. Absolutely. This is uh, just a shot that I took at Kauffman Stadium of a cotton candy vendor. Is that the Royals game? Yes, it absolutely <laughs> is. And I'm not sure who that gentleman is, but he has been immortalized in painting. <laughs> and now there he is. And talk about your child. You're also a, a new daddy. How has being a new dad um, affected your creativity? It completely infuses the process. I'm inspired all the time. I'm inspired by my entire family, from my wife. I have a nine-year-old son as well, and it just infuses me to do more and to really push this project so I can bring that torch onto them, which is a part of my travel project that I'm doing now. I'm giving paintings out to travel around, and he helps me out quite a bit with that. And some of the challenges you face also with Miles. Um, you know, Miles right now, he's two years old. He's all over the place, but he's delightful, and uh, I just have a good time doing this project with him. Okay, fantastic. Talk about First Fridays. Are you excited? You've been doing some of these showings uh, in Kansas City? Yes, I have. I started at the Mojo Collection about a year and a half ago, and I've gained steam. I'm at the uh, River's Bend in Parkville now and various coffee shops and venues around town. And First Fridays, that's the cream de la cream in town. It's a great place to be, definitely. Okay. And what's happening this weekend with your art? This weekend with my art, I actually have it at the River's Bend, and my photo page travel project is constantly evolving, and it will come at mysterious places around town if you keep your eyes open. So. And so you're selling your art? Tell us, uh, you know, what you're doing with your, your creativity there. I have basically two sections. I have one section that I sell at galleries and around town, and another section is for a photo paint travel project which I give to family and friends to travel around the country and they deposit those in different places around the country. So. And I take it the one that we're seeing through the window pane is uh, Kansas City Skyline? Yes, it uh -huh. absolutely is. This was a part of a time-lapse project that's on my website. I filmed the entire construction from beginning to end and I, and I did a fast forward so you can actually see Ooh. the construction of this painting. A lot of time invested oh, yeah. in it. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, Joe, so much, and best of luck to you and all your showings that are going on Thank this weekend much. and in the coming months. Welcome.